Tell her what's popping. <laughs> we are on Twitch. We are not live. We are live, though. Gotcha. I forgot we was live. Uh, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Just a little slight warning screen. Really won't need it, I don't think. But it's there. Twitch.com is where you can catch a live, previous lives, or future lives. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. Patreon, Monday through Friday. Buddies. This is 24 hours in police custody. It's called The Devil's Chain. Alrighty. <laughs> Talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. It's either a trophy or it's bravado. It's egotistical. It's a sense of, look, I've managed to take this from you, your prized possession. And now I'm wearing it around my neck. <laughs> oh, they talking about snatching chains? That's ex He got it right, though. That's exactly what it is. Keep in mind, YouTube, I do not condone any of this diabolical behavior that these people be on. I'm just here for educational purposes. Can we do me a quick favor and just look at Lucy's notes to see if there was any blue on this? They set out with an idea to go and seek some retaliation or retribution or threaten somebody, and then it escalates. A positive reaction from the chemicals that indicate the presence of blood. Bit of an update, boss. Yeah. The family said the victim had a big bulky gold chain on, and it's missing, and it had the Tasmanian devil on the end. Well, there it is. Look, fake is fake, but whatever. It's crucial that we find the truth. I don't. Let's. There we go. Police emergency. It's stabbing my cousin outside the house. What town? Luton, 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 Luton. Luton. He's on the floor. He's not breathing properly. Can you just come, bro? Right, we're sending officers now, okay? How, how badly hurt is he? Send an ambulance. He's not breathing, bro. He's badly hurt, isn't it, bro? Get a blanket, get a blanket. This is a little interesting episode. I wasn't expecting this. Where have you been stabbed, mate? Everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Oh, we've, done, oh, we've not turned him over because he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, we've got a medic here. Well, keep that pressure on there, mate. He's definitely got stab wounds to his back. I do not. Haven't touched his stomach yet. Yo. I hear her say that there was, um, she heard some loud bangs. Oh, oh. Alright, mate, alright. Yeah, some bullets on the floor, guys. We're gonna leave them in the picture at the moment. Yeah, I've got a witness here. Uh, yeah. Damn. This is probably gonna be blurred out for YouTube, but I will let y'all know they got him. Unfortunately, I'm talking about. Woo hoo! And anybody that watching this that's asking, oh, well, you gotta blur it out, come to Twitch. It's not, blur it's not blurred out on Twitch. They're going to a Volvo. 218, if I could just come in on that, there's a witness here who said that earlier on he saw a silver vehicle literally just where this has happened. Squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze. Um, he's leaning from his right hand and the base of his back. Vast pools of blood. Three inch laceration to the top of his head. And across the little base of his back, 15 centimetre deep laceration. And I can't see his spinal cord. Wow. I've been to stabbings before in Luton. They stab to the spine. They stab to the legs. They, 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 they injure to maim, yeah. to paralyze you. They don't do it to kill you, they do it to paralyze you. This gentleman wasn't stabbed, he was hacked. I think yeah. the attempt was to kill him. To kill? Yeah. Yeah, 
they, they died violently. Knife and gunshot. I'm talking about what I just saw was a little bit crazy to me. Injuries <laughs> in Luton. Victim was taken to hospital where he remains in a serious condition. A silver car was seen driving away from the vicinity of the incident, and detectives are keen to trace the vehicle. The police believe the attack was targeted and are appealing for anyone with information about what happened to come forward. He didn't want to cooperate. I think Mum's really worried about doing or saying anything that her son's not going to be happy with. Detectives have tried to... I'm not going to lie, that would have been my last night on shift. Whatever I had, what was doing or whatever, whoever my loyalties was to, that would have been my last night, buddy find out from the victim's family what lies behind the attack she's in a difficult situation because she came across like she's a decent person and i don't believe that she's involved in criminality but they're worried about the consequences and it is tying our hands the level of violence used in the attack means the investigation is led by bedfordshire's major crime unit Clearly these people have lain in wait for our victim, for him to return home and then they've attacked him on his driveway. Dang. This was not a chance encounter, it was absolutely premeditated. They camped for him? They laid down in the bushes for him? That's crazy. I got through that briefing so we're all up to speed on what the job's about initially. It's an attempt murder job from the early hours of Thursday morning. Malik is the victim. Our victim's got a bit of form got drugs offences and I think he was um, potted for drug supply. He's been out of prison quite recently. His family has seen him turn his life around, but they are keeping still in terms of telling us who's involved or what this is all about. So in terms of his injuries, he has been... Sh Tell you, once you're involved or, you know what I'm saying, in that lifestyle, if you got debts or people been on you, you they, do, they do not forget. And this is an example right here. Shot three times. He's got numerous hack marks where he's been attacked with either a knife or a machete. It's clearly a concerted effort to kill him, given the extent of his injuries, and he's very lucky to be alive. Yeah, the cops turn out. up, and they find, sure enough, Malik's on the fire outside. There's a blood-soaked balaclava next to him, a pool of blood, and a bullet case on the floor as well. Double forensics. Man, they're shallow. The balaclava's gone off. Uh, results are due urgently for gunshot residue recovery in the first instance, then internally for saliva and wear a DNA. This was a well-planned attack under the cover of darkness. To expect the public to have a list of witnesses who can give us a blow-by-blow -blow account of what happened would be very unrealistic, really. Forensics are incredibly important in any investigation, but particularly in serious crimes such as this. To get a result is really, really crucial. Oh, I think someone ran across the road there. Look. Detectives reviewed dash cam footage handed in by a motorist who passed the scene at the time of the attack. Well, there is always a bias a citizen. Somebody there? Two. Two. Where? Somebody There's there. another one there. Oh, yeah. That one. Oh, right. Four. Four, yeah. See that fourth yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. We've got the rear view as well to have a look at. That car on the side there might be the one that they get into. It's really difficult to see that, isn't it? Well, all it really does is tell you... No, it's not, because the headlights cut off. See, there's four people. Yeah, this this footage is... What is this going to help? they just got four suspects, right? Two miles from the crime scene, police find a burnt-out car matching the description of the Volvo seen driving away from the attack. They was on business. It's going to see if any of the witnesses on the street know who owns that car or can point us in the right direction to who has access to it. They was not playing. This is crazy. Oh, here we go. Hiya, sorry. I'm Marm from Bradford Police. It's just in regards to a vehicle that was burnt out last night. Do you know anything about it? They're in the... Hiya, oh, yeah, sorry, nothing to worry about. It's just in regards to a vehicle that was burnt out last night. Anything about a silver Volvo at all in the street? No. Okay, no worries. Can I just take the name till I spoke to you? No. Okay, that's fine. No. She was absolutely not. No. 
And we just want to know if anyone knows anyone of that vehicle. Oh, I left towards the avoid. Yeah, what's that? Are they trying to see the like the suspects, or did they try to get the original owner? Wouldn't the original owner? Nah, I don't know. We need to know who the offenders were, really. Well, if, if you can't get to do it today, then tomorrow. But like, even just the first account today. No worries. Are you coming back here then to write that up? I've seen a bit then. Right, she had second thoughts. Doesn't want to give us a statement. However. She's given us a bit of an account. Hears a noise, looks out, sees people attacking somebody outside. She can't really say much about them. It was at a distance at night. Might be Asian. Proximity to it all as well. She's probably had second thoughts. Yeah. Probably realised that it's a bit more than just beating someone up as well. Yeah, absolutely. If she knows that there's gunshots or... I'm, I'm sure the local community, everybody knows some version of events now. Yeah, absolutely. Quite a lot of information on there saying that the person responsible is a chap by the name of Samad, who's a Bengali male. What is this new live intelligence we just had there? It's intel that's coming in, it's on the rolling log, okay. but he's been mentioned on more than one occasion. That's, that's the suspect? Okay, lovely, thank you. Boss just said he's looked at something and there's a marker on Samad on PNC saying involved in the shooting stabbing. There was loads of stuff about Stephen O'Dell. And he's a really nasty piece of work. Is he? He was like a one-man wrecking crew. Yeah, there's a um, PNC print for that O'Dell on here. He's got like 70 pages. 17? Wait, did she say seven? Yeah, he's got like 70 pages. 7D? 70? Major crime intel. Intelligence is... It's not evidence, but it's an idea of, about who, for example, might be responsible. It doesn't have to be a name for a member of the public. It could be where the weapons are being stored. It could be a whole host of different intelligence feeds into the police, which we can look at and act upon and then decide where the investigation then takes us. Graham, do you want to talk about intel now? Because it kind of feeds into all our bits and pieces. We believe so far, this is still a work in progress. It's graded one CP, the reliable, and that reads that four males were involved in the stabbing and shooting of Malik. We believe the offenders were a Bengali male called Samad Ali, Stephen O'Dell, and further an Asian male. We've got further work on going with that at the moment. Finally, it's took it's took till about six o'clock, and we started winning a little. Quite right, happy days. Well, it almost seemed like they got these suspects out of thin air. That's, that's If you think you're doing something in the cover of night, don't. Because there are law-abiding citizens that are going to tell. <laughs> 100%. Can you just confirm for me, please, that all of your weapons have been drawn via the arm system? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Police execute a rolling series of arrests on four suspects linked to a brutal attempted murder. All four of them they got. Firearms have only been authorised at the flat of Sam Ed Ali. Yeah. Been authorised there as opposed to the others because there is specific intelligence around him being involved in this incident from the other night. You live in a nice little hot, you live in a nice little grill, don't you? Oh, that's a tire block? Oh, wait a minute. Elevator was real nice. They gonna hit the door? Law police! Come to the door with nothing in your hands! Do it now! Open the door! Law police! Just open the door, man, because you know you probably live with your parents. They don't fix them doors for you. Show your hands. Right, come out. One at a time, walk towards me slowly. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Right inside the address, show yourself at the door now. Come to the door, show me your hands. Show me your hands. 
he come out with a cigarette? Move. Do not move. Walk towards me slowly. Don't make any sudden movements. Keep coming. Keep coming. Is there anyone else in that flat? No one else in the flat. Might as well smoke it. That's probably going to be your last one for the next 20, 21 years. Same. 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 I just need to speak to you. Is this him? Extreme, no? This is a bit extreme, man. Yeah, What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him out of the way. Let's get him out of the way. Your last kiss. Good evening. Could he have these over? I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? The white t-shirt, first of all, looks astronomically white. It's not this white. It ain't this clean. But, it's a smooth little look. <laughs> Give it to you. I fought. Fight, Tammy. Let me take you under arrest for suspicion of attempted murder. Okay. It's a murder. Yeah. The reason for your arrest is... I'm sorry. You, hey, you hear the bystanders? Yeah, he read him his charge. He was bum book. Murder. Okay. It's a murder. Yeah. The reason for your arrest is prompt an effective investigation. It's in relation to the attempted murder of Malik. I don't know who the fuck that is, isn't it? Okay. I don't know who the fuck that is, isn't it? I don't have a cigarette before I get in the ball. No, no, that's not going to happen, my friend. No, no, sorry. Come on. Bro, you just fucking hit him on attempted murder. Bro. Come on. What the fuck? It's not a joke. Bro. No, it's not a joke. Yeah, you're good. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And that's who we're looking for. It's quite distinctive. Yeah, it is. With Samad Ali under arrest, police move on the addresses of the three other suspects. Hello, this is the police. We've got a warrant. It's not here at the moment. Okay. Do you know where he is? He's gone out. Okay. Okay, you alright? Police officer, it's all good. I'm just coming up to make sure there's no one arguing out here. I assume he's not here, no? Nobody's ever home. There's only us here, so we're going to have to do our search here. If other people become available from other dresses, yeah. Okay, cheers, pal. Don't tell me they kept Bye. the weapons. Right, looks like we're the, the only one who weapons. got somebody. Firearms, ammunition, mobile phones, any dark coloured shoe with a white sole, balaclava or face coverings, Volvo car key. Right, and we'll just use common sense. If we find something we're not sure, we'll just make a decision. Oh, 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 oh brilliant. What is it? Sounds good, I'm back. that's We've got the chap that really wanted in custody. Sorry, Let's just say we found some stuff here that he'll have to answer for. What'd they find? What'd they find, chat? I missed it. So he's been arrested for oh, attempted murder. Oh, wow. Well, Car paperwork. Stop there. So attempted murder, that's the reason why we're here. Mm -hmm. So the allegation is that you've been linked by some intelligence to Okay, the... I, I want to just say something. Bro did it in his own car? Like, on, normally on these shows, we see people do them on, like, a stolen car, bro. Attempted murder of Malik. The intelligence. Yeah, so intelligence is linked to So someone said something basically or something. Quite, quite possibly, like but we don't know that, and I certainly don't know that. Okay. Do I need a Tim or do I? Uh, just let me have a look. What you got? You have to 
Thank you, I'll be I'm shaking. Single. I'm not going to show me a little, little no, no, wimpy chain no, like the one I've got. I had my jewellery on me and like, it was all right, because I'm not a... Pop I'll... it on there, Samad. I'll look after it for you. You won't be going anywhere. I'll count your money out. Is this the same? Ch See, this is why I don't like watching the previews. Like, we've seen the chain in the beginning. Bro wore a chain? A chain? You got a bottle club on and you gonna wear a very distinctive chain? Some of the some of the stuff that like some of the I, I don't know it's just very dumb. Y'all be making they be making it real easy for the police. Which is, I mean, hey. So they've done the searches at the address where Samad lives with his girlfriend. Whilst there, they <clears throat> located a V5 vehicle registration document. Oh, okay, V5 vehicle registration. That document relates to the vehicle Volvo. that was found in Crossways where it was burnt out. Uh, Volvo XC90, uh, and there's our VIN number. Uh, everyone talks about the registration number, the index number as we call it, but the VIN number is the important one. The fact that she has it, uh, links him to that vehicle. Yeah. That vehicle was then subsequently found burnt oh, out a short had. while after our offence. Okay. Certainly causes us great. So my question is, why wouldn't she report it stolen? Could that be argued in court that it was stolen? We just didn't know it was stolen. Because this the next day, right? Safe concern about the involvement in that vehicle <laughs> and that. Under section one. I can't okay. imagine for one minute he's going to want to talk to us. <laughs> but we will give him every opportunity. No, bro has no comment. In you were arrested, Samad, um, last night on suspicion of the attempted murder of Malik. You were cautioned. Usually you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Do you understand? No. He started it so early. I'm here to ask you, were you involved in the attempted murder of Halleck? No, he went no comment to everything. Even to the caution, he went no comment. Right, he went no comment to the caution. That's a, bro is over prepared. But I wonder if all three of them is gonna go. All, all four of them is gonna go no comment. I can see from the pictures they show us. Somebody gonna say something. Of course he did it. Definitely. Yeah. Professional, 27 year experience for you. But it's all yeah. circumstantial at the minute. The first camera we're looking at is on this right. side looking at the road here. I've already said what I said though, man. Everybody should always go no comment. Unless your lawyer advises you otherwise, but your lawyer would not advise you otherwise. Even your lawyer would tell you don't say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just go, just rock a no comment. Because at the end of the day, they're going to figure it out. Like, you see all the stuff that all the technology they got? Forensics, neighbors, witnesses, <laughs> you know, they got it all. And if somebody get in here and get the snitching, you're still going to get time. We've learned this already. But I already knew that. We've all learned it now. You're still going to get time, and it's going to be the roughest time you've never had. Police review the final pieces of CCTV from the night of the attack. What show Looking is that we watched? What show is that we watched where they snitched and bro got 17 years still and he snitched? <laughs> like, ooh, stuff. For any evidence to link Samad Ali to the crime. Oh, and then, yeah, somebody runs straight across the road. And then, have we got Ali going into the flat? Yes, we do. He just looks like he's coming home, doesn't he? Not exactly. Not in any kind of major hurry or. No, no. The best shot of him is definitely in the lift. And he seems quite calm, doesn't he? 
Yeah. It doesn't look out of breath, as though he's just run from somewhere. Mm. Might be working in his favor. Right. Could almost pick up a passcode on them. Well, do you know what? I was just thinking yeah. that. <laughs> I, we haven't got that phone. You haven't, no. no. I was just saying to Yolly, I anticipate that he's going to be bailed out today because we haven't got anything really. I know, and he was the only one that got took caught right now, right? So imagine him being the only one making bail, then communicating with his comrades. Have we seized his clothes? Allegedly. Yes. Have we got them? Where are they? They're all down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, he's got this jewellery. Big chain, it's a fucking big chain. <laughs> Does it have something on the end? This is probably what you're thinking of, but it's not attached. Oh, the victim apparently had a Tasmanian devil. Really? Yes. Oh my god. How fucking dumb would he be if he's got the Tasmanian devil on him? <laughs> Even the cop said you're dumb. It's, 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 it's remarkable. It's remarkable the stupidity that, that some of these people possess. Come on. Miss Lister's here to see you again. The family said that he had a big bulky gold chain on, the victim, and it's missing. And it had, and they've called it a Tasmanian lizard. Well, this chap. The victim? The victim, the guy who got his chain. The guy who got into the altercation and went to the hospital with the wounds, they took his chain and his pendant and bro had it. Oh, man. No bail for you, buddy. No bail for you. In custody, has got a big bulky gold chain on with the Tasmanian devil on the end? No. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're laughing at this dude. It'd be better to get the family to give us a statement yeah. first to say that that is the right one or a picture or whatever. It'd be nice to go look. That's the victim wearing it. You don't know him. Look what you wear around your neck. Have you seen this photo? Brilliant. Really <laughs> there is our victim. We've said. Jack. Yes. Oh, God, I feel good. Hello, boss. Bit of an update. Heidi's going to tying in with the family to see if we can get them to describe it well enough so we can ID it. Because that's going to be quite telling. If we get a statement, we can say that we've obtained this photo, we recognise it to be the victim, and blah de blah But I feel like this dude's involved, the victim, so I don't think he'll, get, he'll be giving that information up. Maybe a family, maybe his mom might, but... I don't think, I don't think so. I'm wondering whether we can go for a mot on. Detectives from the Major Crime Unit are waiting for the CPS to agree that they have the evidence to charge Samad Ali with attempted murder. Hello, mate. He was booked in last night with this huge groping chain on and in his pocket is this Taz pendant, which no one had picked up on. Lo and behold, they are the uh, outstanding things from the victim. Yeah, I recognise him. Yeah, I don't think he's... I don't think he's a stranger to Luton Custody. No. That way, please. Why would someone take a chain from someone they've just tried to kill? Within their criminal world, they want to assert themselves. They want everyone else to know what pain they've inflicted or what they're... You know what we blame this for? This clout. This clout. This clout, guys. Y'all asking the question, it's clout. Man, want to go on Instagram or Snapchat and be like, Yeah, get your chain back, bruv. <laughs> it's, it's cloud. Capable of doing. I left. They can't stay quiet. They have to brag about it. And then the middle one plays like. But that's generally their downfall. When you bring emotions into it, your sense of clarity and thought go out the window. Mr. Ali, how are you? Mm -hmm. CPS have come back to us literally just now. Uh, and they've uh, recommended one charge. Charge? Of attempted murder. Okay? Come on, we'll 
If it was any other offence, then uh, we would have considered it. Yes, but you can imagine the offence that you've been arrested for is attempt murder. Yeah, you at the top, big dog. Yeah, the top of charges. Hello, yeah, Sergeant Nassau, Lincoln Police Station. Um, I have Samad Ali with me. Well, I'll transfer the call now. Hello? You did do it? <coughs> no, I'm going to charge him in here. It's just a word, isn't it? For fuck's sake, yeah, man. They're not even letting me go. Yes. They're not giving me she bill or nothing, innit? Yeah. 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 If she said no. And apparently, they found a V5 in the handbag and they yeah. put yeah. the chain. If they did find the chain and the pendant or something. You're trying to be very nonchalant. Okay. On this recorded phone call. You're shitting there now, ain't you? Yeah, you might not ever get out of here, buddy. That kiss was definitely your last one. Your girlfriend is probably going to move on immediately. It's tough. It's tough out here, man. It's hard. It's hard when you're doing that. Like, legit, probably one week she's moved on. Of attempt murder. <clears throat> Suspects will um, often, um, if they know they're wanted, hand themselves in. What what option have they got? Oh, the he handed himself in? Which suggests a degree of guilt. So it's often a good ploy. You've been arrested before? Yeah. Yes, you know the process. Yeah. yeah. I was obviously, I was booked in to come in today, so I was supposed to book it in. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, so. One o'clock, Stephen Odell is coming in. And Stu and Claire, I think, are down for him. They'll do what they can to sanitise their involvement. They'll, they'll probably sort out an alibi and they'll present themselves all, all innocent. Steve. Yeah. Hello, mate. How you doing? You all right? Yeah. Before we go through, you ain't got anything in your package, gear or anything oh, like that? No, no, no. You'd be, you'd be surprised. I'm Steve, I'm right. Claire. This is Claire. Claire. I'm Stuart. Nice to meet you. Oh, Thanks for coming down. Right. Time now is ten past one and I'm arresting you on suspicion of the attempted murder of Malik, which occurred in Luton at 1.55 in the morning on the 31st of the 10th this year. All right? You do not have to say anything, but it may arm your defence. If you do not mention we question something later on in the court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. OK. You heard that, man. Is it your missus? We're not stopping you from having any calls. Is it your missus? Yeah. Right, okay. Look, I'll be honest with you, right? It's a lot of shit. You know as well as I know I was in bed with you. I'm, I'm going to get myself found in this Here's the alibi. With one suspect, Samad Ali, charged with attempted murder. Yeah, they got him red handed. Have a great year. Thanks. Detectives interview the three other suspects in connection with the crime. Somebody's in a snitch. Okay, this interview is being video. I don't think it's going to be him. In an interview room at Luton Police Station. What generally happens is people won't speak to us because they want to see what evidence that we have got against them. Can you tell me what your full name is, please? Okay. We always expect people to not comment, generally speaking, and that's our starting point. Have you had enough time to consult with your sister? Yeah. yeah, OK. Are you guys ready to crack on it? Yeah. They are advised to not comment because they don't have to prove their innocence. We have to prove their guilt. The purpose of this interview, Stephen, is to allow you the opportunity to give your side of the story and to establish the facts. You do not have to say anything. However, Stuart and I are still going to ask you questions. You've been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder to Malik. 
First of all, I'm going to ask you do, you, do you actually know him? No comment. Tell me what you know about that incident. No comment. Have you heard of him? No comment. Is he a friend of yours? Or is he someone that's like an adversary to you? Is he like what you would call an enemy? No comment. So the, the man that was stabbed and shot is a man called Malik. Do you know anyone by the name of Malik? Malik rings a bell, but... Oh, my God. I, I said it wasn't gonna be you. That's about it. I know a few Maliks. Have you ever had any issues with any of the Maliks? No. I ain't had issues for, for a while, to be fair. OK. So this is early hours of the morning disappointed. this happened. Let's talk about maybe the Wednesday might help. So from the late afternoon through to the early hours of Thursday morning. And what I would like to know is what you can tell me about it. So from about six onwards, we had a Halloween party at my ex missus house. Family were there. They left around 12 midnight. And then that was it. I was off to bed with my ex-partner. After the party oh. finished, yeah. did you ring anyone? Uh, Speak I got, to I anyone? I haven't got a phone. My, you I haven't, ha haven't got a phone? No, I haven't got a phone, no. Right. Why don't you have a phone? I was robbed about a month ago. Have you reported that to the police? No. So, if I mention the name Stephen Michael Odell, does that ring a bell at all? No comment. Is he a friend of yours? No comment. Did he play any part in this attack? No comment. Other persons that we are interested in. Do you know who he is? Yeah, no. You know who he is? Yeah. How do you know him? Um, same high school. When did you last see him? Last see him. Oh my God. Bro, they're going to spin you. Stop. Just. Oh, it'd have been a mate's wedding. Do you know if he's involved in the attempt murder of Alec? I would like to think not. OK. The other man we are interested in is a man called yeah. Do you know him? Yes, I am. How do you know him? You see what they've done now, right? They've all established that they're all friends now through this one man. If you would have just shut up. You're not... OK. You know, mate, for... Say close to ten years. Man. You you've genuinely wrapped yourself up in it. Like there, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to ask you about Samad Ali and Stephen O'Dell. Do you know any of those guys? No. Do you know anyone by the name of Samad Ali? No. You sure. Hundred percent. OK, all right. Would you be linked to the attack in any way? No comment. Forensically, DNA? No comment. Blood? No comment. Do you have any reason to believe that anything linked to you would have been left at the scene? No comment. So are you aware of DNA, fingerprint yeah. and things like that? So would we find any, any of your DNA at the scene? No, nothing so OK. Did you drop anything? No. You sure? Yes. I remember they got that balaclava. And this was why you say no comment, man. Even if you're innocent, <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comment. And then when y'all get to court, let your lawyer, tell your lawyer everything. Yeah, I'll tell it to my lawyer and my lawyer can tell it to you. But me telling y'all anything directly, no, because y'all gonna misconstrue what I got going on to fit y'all narrative so it's just no comment it's as simple as that anything you want to say about that you know how many innocent people are in jail because of not saying no comment <laughs> no okay so we have found your dna at the scene impossible so this is it ain't impossible <laughs> god they hit you with the 
They ain't even wait till another later date. They hit you immediately. Get the jigs up. We got you in there. We got you in the end Because of an FMM9. This is where Malik was found fighting for his life. Okay. And this balaclava has been found. And your DNA is on that balaclava, Steve. Impossible. Ha how? The impossible. Is I only own one balaclava, and okay. that's my motorbike balaclava. That one is 100% not my balaclava. That's got your wearer DNA inside, and that has got Malik's blood on the outside. Definitely not. That's not my balaclava. Oh. I don't give a shit what you lot see. You cannot say that's my balaclava. Oh. A million percent. But why is your DNA there, then? Why? That's, my DNA's not in that. It, it, it is, is, mate. It's it is. not. It's not. Stephen, honestly, you can't just sit here and say, that's not my balaclava, that's not my I DNA. Oh. You need to tell me that how your DNA got in that. See how they just wrote them in? They just wrote them in? Now, if you were saying no comment this whole time, when that question would have came up, you could have just no comment. You wouldn't even owe them an explanation at that point. Get, get, let the interview terminate itself. Get together with your lawyer. Have a hoopla. Have a talk. <laughs> and figure it out from there, but. Listen. At this stage, do you want to have a quick chat with him? Uh, yes, 100%, please. Okay, that's fine. They, they, the chain guy is stupider. I'm a, somebody in the chat said, who's stupider, chain guy or, who's dumber, chain guy or this guy? Um, Chain guy, for sure. Chain guy, because they had nothing on chain guy, except the chain. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you, you, you beat now. So um, we'll end the interview then at 15.25. He's, he's close though. He, I wouldn't say he's dumb, he's just oblivious to the law. He's uh, ignorant to the law. Because <clears throat> they wrote him in so nasty just now. He didn't like that, did he? Because yeah. how he reacted was like, actually. Believe it wouldn't surprise me if someone's framed him. No. Do you not reckon? No. Do you? I don't. It's possible. He's lying about party. Yeah. I was so shocked he started talking. Hello, Claire. Um, so just come out of interview and they wanted a break. Um, what after basically... you dropped the bombshell? Yeah. He literally just lost it. Like he completely changed in his behaviour. Um, and as if that is not my balaclava, that is not my DNA. The only balaclava I own is my motorcycle balaclava. And Has then he worn anyone else's? I didn't get as far as that, Mike. You would cover all that off, because obviously yeah, of course, yeah. he's going to come up with some sort of story as to... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cheers. All right, cheers. Bye. Bye. See what I'm saying? See, you, you heard it, right? you got to cover it all, because he's going to come up back with a story. You wouldn't have to if you were saying no comment. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, he's lying about it all. Yeah, you can tell he's really nervous. But he 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 thought he was going to come in here and give us that story, and we were going to have nothing to yeah. debunk it. That DNA was just painful, yeah. He's a liar though. Yeah, he got a phone. No one attacks someone like this with those injuries for no reason. Please enlighten me in relation to why this has happened. No comment. Is it over drugs? No comment. Is it over money? No comment. Or has he just really pissed someone off? No comment. Is this down to Malik assaulting you? No comment. In prison? Is that what this is all about? No comment. Because if it is, do you want... See how she trying, to, she trying to pull on his emotions now? Or is it about assault that he did and this is y'all get back? No comment. No comment. <laughs> Wanna tell us anything about that? No comment. Oh yeah. yeah. Bullet and balaclava. This is they're interviewing two separate people right here. So there it was three they interviewed dude with the chain and this has been three people they've interviewed. The the guy who they got with the DNA interview terminated and now there's two people saying no comment. So these two right here, three people have said no comment. Except that one. Of the results 
it is estimated that DNA profile is at least one billion times more likely to be his than to be another un unknown person. Dang. Yeah, that's it, mate. He's, he's stuffed. Do you want to write that your notes up? Just thinking about the next interview, though. What possible defences? Mm. We always say if they talk, they probably didn't do it. Yeah. He's going to say no comment now, Stu. Isn't he? That's good. Too late now. Anything you say will end. <laughs> what they say? Anything you say will can't will and can be used in the court of law. You already said everything. Okay, so we're talking about this balaclava. Inside, we have found your DNA. There so has who to be else? Someone is... else's DNA on that. Unless someone's got your DNA that well, matches your DNA. I've got a twin. Have you got a twin? No, Identical I that, twin? I know that. I'm not trying to get like rude or nothing. I'm just trying no, to no, say. No, no, I understand. I was not at that scene. That balaclava has to have someone else's DNA on that. I did not have that balaclava on, and just it just. It, Oh, oh. Who had that balaclava? This is what I'm trying to say, right? If it was not me. What you should be trying to say at this point is still no comment. Like, it's too late, but still, what you should be trying to say is no comment. Hands down, it, it was not me. If that was me, right, I'm there attacking someone. Why would I take my balaclava off? But in the melee, and we don't know what Malik was doing, because yeah, we're yet know to that, speak but... with him, but he might have been fighting with his attackers and okay, it might have I, come off yeah, and Yeah, I understand that. So what I'm saying is... Stop I, talking. I know if I go to a fucking shooting, a stabbing or whatever else... Oh, my God, this guy is so dumb. They never mentioned the shooting. They, did, they never said anything about a shooting. Why would you say... That's happened, and I leave something like that. I went to a fucking shooting, a stab. She couldn't even contain herself when he said the word shooting. Been or whatever else. That's happened, and I leave something like that. I'm fucked. So let's go backwards. When was the last time you wore? A black balaclava that wasn't for motorbike racing. We're talking about an attempted murder here. So if you're talking about you've worn it for any other criminality or anything like that, okay, now's not the time to be coy about it because given a slightly different version of events, your DNA could be at a murder scene. To Without tell, trying to need, think that I'm not taking it serious. You need to tell us how your DNA got in there. Who had that balaclava? Who wore it at the scene? Who dropped it? I don't know. Have you committed a crime wearing a balaclava with any of the people that we suggest are involved? I don't know the other people you're saying. I haven't committed a crime. But your mates? Well, you know two out of three of them. Yeah, two, two you know. With them, no. 100% no. Right. The Sam... Yeah, two Samad four. Ali, that's the other chap. Sam, Samad Ali, this <clears> one. <throat> he could be... Uh, I don't know. What do you but mean he could be? He could be like a friend of a friend. Uh, he could have been around me. I don't know, but this is not mine. I do not own this balaclava. Has anyone got any issues with you? No, I have no Are issues with anyone. Any duress? No. I'm not a fucking angel. I've been, you, you know my records, mm. I've been fucking an idiot back in the past, mm -hmm. whatever else. And I've done shit. I don't live that lifestyle no more. I have kids I look after. This is not my balaclava. Stephen, okay. It might not be your balaclava. Can I do, can I have what? But it's your DNA. Please. That's fine. Okay, we'll just pause the interview one minute. Okay, let's go to another room. We'll leave the tapes running, so don't say anything. Come out. Yeah, there go. is. But, you got one? Yeah, if you go in that one. All right, no worries, no worries. You can't just say it's not mine. No, because he's, he's holding something back. Yeah, because it's a one in one billion chance of it being a twin, and he knows that. I'm 
I'm really frustrated at the stupidity. She done spinning the block okay. about the yeah. shooting. Yeah. We good? Yeah. <laughs> he went in there and talked to his lawyer. The lawyer probably was like, yo, are you going to take my advice now? Say no comment. <laughs> I just I want you to stay at the interview cylinder, please. Caution. So we were just talking about the statistics and your DNA being on this balaclava. You lot are the professionals, and you lot will get to the bottom of who had that balaclava. I know that for a fact. Do you know who had it on? No. This is the thing, I do not know. If you it knew who had it on, would you tell Listen, me? Listen, let me tell you something, right? It's not about being a grass or whatever else. I don't give a shit. It's about protecting them kids. It's my family, right? Yeah. My kids. This is a life sentence. Mm -hmm. Do you not understand that? Yeah. yeah. I am not risking my life for my kids. My kids are my everything. So if you knew who'd done this, you would tell us? Listen, if I knew, then I don't know. It w I would have to if I knew. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So when would you have worn a balaclava like that? I ride my motorbike on the road. It's not a When motorbike. you shouldn't be. OK, all right, yeah. fine. Well, we're not here to Traffic offences, attempted murder. Yeah. Let's... Yeah, no, I, know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. All right. So it's possible thing. you have worn a balaclava like that... Yes. ..all okay. the time to I avoid the police. Right. I go with... Have you given one of your old balaclavas... You know what I'm trying to where, say? Where? Where? Long gone where? I don't know. Like, um, there's been times before when I've had him in my man bag with my gloves. Um, someone else has wanted to borrow it. I've had him in my pockets. Do you know what I'm I've had them. And I've, they've gone. So when was the last time you lent one to someone? I don't know. Really. And who did you lend it to? Um, I feel like they gave him an out and he took it. Because this is probably the most important question yeah. you've been asked in this interview. Well, and buddy's going to have to relocate, though. you got to move. A oh. solicitor will tell you this. No, no, no. If that is a balaclava mm. that you've worn and you have lent to someone and then it's turned up at an attempted murder scene... I don't want to say that then you go nick him for this massive thing. Who would you give it to? Mate, you need to tell us who you gave it to. So you're sitting here, yeah, no, no, arrested no, no, no. for attempt murder. I know, I know. You might be charged. I know this, I know So this. the guy who may have been wearing this is walking free. Come on, Steve, do I the right thing. I... You're not a grass. You've got your kids to think about. Describe him to us. <laughs> uh, actually, ma'am. <laughs> White, black, oh, Asian. No, he's, uh, I think he's Pakistani. OK. Age. 22, maybe. OK. Yeah, I don't know. Got slim, slim, Um, not slim. Just think of him, picture him, and describe him to us. I can't remember what facial hair or not. Um, and where's he from? Don't know. Is there anything else you can tell us about him? That's, I literally, that's all I know. That's why I, I don't know his name. He lied. This time we're gonna charge you for the. <laughs> That's what they wanna tell us, Goofy. Yeah. That's not mine. Okay, thank you for talking to us, Steve. And um, we'll end the interview now. Technically, he ain't snitch, but like he did, he did a lot of talking. He didn't implicate these other people. He did just kind of give them like he knew all of them. Hello. You did. He was adamant, mate. OK. There's a lot of things in there that you kind of thought... You're, you're lying, but I couldn't pinpoint what he was lying about. Yep. There's something he's not telling us. Definitely. But we go on the evidence. And I don't think the reason he's given us for his DNA being on that balaclava at the scene is enough. Uh, likelihood is that I don't think that's going to be enough to negate 
negate what he's saying. But Whether he was lying because he knows what's happened, whether he's lying because he was there and someone else had the balaclava. And only right at the end. I will say he was talking an awfully lot. But he, I, I, he didn't give up no information that could help them. He, uh, he kind of spun them. If he lying to them, he kind of spun them. You know what I'm saying? They don't know if he told them the truth, lying, or nothing. They just, they just like, ah. But see, it is a dissociation thing here, but like, listen to them talking. They said, hey, with what he's told us and what we've got, it's not going to be enough to get a charge. They saying it. The end, did he say, well, I did have a balaclava like that, but I lent it to a bloke. Oh. If that's what he says. Um, He's involved in this somehow. Enough to get his hands dirty. Right, OK. It's now come out that he might have lent some bloke a balaclava. He tried to say, well, if I was going to do it, I wouldn't be stupid enough to leave my balaclava there. Um, I'm sorry, he's done bringing you purpose, did he? So he's basically saying, know, because he's a good, because he's a good time, criminal, yeah, he's basically no. saying that he wouldn't get caught times, out. But how many times do you come out of interviews sometimes and think people are really, really genuine and you think, oh, yeah. But he's doing this. Yeah, exactly. But bearing in mind the swabs are from the mouth and the nose, and if somebody else has had that on, but what, yeah, they, what well, you you'd, you'd, you'd expect another profile, somebody. wouldn't you? There's no, There's no other profile. Yeah, we've got no other profile in there. There's no other profile in there. Without enough evidence to link two of the suspects to the attempted murder, police have no choice but to release them on bail. So, like the no commenters, right? Sounds right. So the bill condition is the no comment going home. You guys not to contact directly and directly Stephen Michael Odell and Samad Ali. Oh, who else going home? He's, he's Mr. Comment, Mr. I got all the information. You still in there? Yeah, from Odell's data point of view, coming up to the incident, really. It's I think the two no comments went home, didn't they? Being used. Detectives have managed to link Stephen O'Dell to a phone registered to his former girlfriend's mother. By 2.57, he's in the area where the car is then later torched, and then he stops using his phone. What it does, it destroys his alibi, because he and his girlfriend are saying that they were yeah. having a party, and he was there all night. His phone clearly does move away. He's not yeah. at that party. See, they got you anyway. Um, O'Dell says that he doesn't know Ali. Um, but clearly he does know Ali because less than 15 minutes after the incident, so the incident's at 1.55, at 2.11, Ali is calling yeah. Odell and calls him for 35. This ain't no comment the whole way through, man. They're going to they, they gonna get you anyway. Seconds. That call in itself shows that they are associates, so Odell does know Ali. Yeah. The victims come back in a taxi and they've been waiting for him. Yes, that's correct. There is obviously no other um, DNA on the balaclava apart from his. I guess he thought that if he came out with a plausible account at the start of it, then perhaps we would, uh, we would believe him. But there'll be something somewhere which they absolutely will not have thought about or, or made allowances for. What's the saying? They've got to be lucky all the time. We've only got to be lucky once. All right, that's brilliant. Thanks ever so much. All right, then. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mr. Dell's going to be charged. Oh, good. I'm um, looking for Armand as well. <sighs> he did all that talking and got charged for attempted murder. Him and Mr. Chain got a charge for attempted murder. Them other two, Mr. No Comment and No Comment, gone. See, if you would have just got up in here, but they had DNA on the body clobber for you, but you could have still just rocked with the No Comment, man. I just thought yeah. so. He's a wrong gun. Right, you're charged with the offence shown below. Attempted to murder. No. No reply, no? I thought you was going home, didn't you? At court, they blamed each other. <laughs> They both got the snitching on each other. 
Oh, a lesser charge, grievous bodily harm with intent. Both were sentenced to 12 years and four months. Yikes. And where the two dudes that said no comment? Home, relaxing. <laughs> If they ain't find that chain and that Tasmanian devil, he would have been home too. It would have just been him. Tough, man. What have we learned today, man? Don't commit crime. And always say no comment, man. Always say no comment. Then they got into court, got to blaming each other. That's tough. Of course, that's the argument. It's a real good episode, man. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.